All right, welcome to League of Legends. We'll be going live here pretty soon. They're sorting out the um, game. We have a three-minute delay. We are playing Hass Hall today. Clinton versus Hass Hall. We are a man down, but we found somebody in the lab willing to fill the middle row, so we'll see what happens here. Chuck should be here to drive this thing in just a minute. We're getting set up. Everybody's loaded into the lobby. This is another edition of Yellow Jacket Esports. Uh, this is our fall 2022 season. Excited to kick it off here with some uh, League of Legends. I didn't get to play our match uh, last week. Uh, we had an FF, so uh, we'll be playing the Hass Hall uh, today. We have a couple of subs in. Uh, I've had a little bit of conflict with some uh, band activities. Kind of normal for this time of year, so we're kind of used to it. But um, anyhow, hopefully we'll get this thing kicked off here real soon. And we'll ha be bringing you some high school esports uh, League of Legends action. Uh, Action-packed this fall season. Uh, can't wait to get everything uh, rolling for this season. Uh, we got some really good teams uh, coming in here. I should probably swap spots with you so you can drive. No, I don't need to drive. <laughs> hey, it's been a while since we've done this. Uh, with me and you, yeah, the duo. Yeah. So, I said it. Yeah, I would feel more comfortable if you drove. Yeah, well, I'm can already you drive from there? Up. Yeah, you're good. I've you're good. Got okay, set up. okay. Uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, that's because it never fails that I forget to click on something, uh, and Chuck does not. So it's it's a lot safer if he drives and I just ride shotgun with him. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we should be ready to go live here for the draft uh, real soon. Yeah, it looks like they're calling for him to start the game. So I said we got a couple of uh, substitute players in today, but I'm really glad they're going to get to see what some high school – Esports League of Legends action is like. Uh, had a lot of new players in here uh, this semester uh, practicing. A lot of them haven't played the game very much, so they're still learning. Uh, it takes quite a few hours to get proficient at League of Legends, so this will be a good scrimmage for them to kind of get their feet wet and kind of see what uh, Chuck and I have been telling oh, them about no. high what school is, competition. We can't start. He can use one of your accounts. Oh, uh Yeah, we can probably do that. Again, I yeah, he can I'll log him in as me. All right, we're going to log him in as
All right, we'll get this squared away and get the right account. Ghost Dragon is apologizing, and Swag Lord from the other team said no problem. <laughs> Gotta love it. Nightwave says, my bad. Ghost Dragon says, sorry, give us a second. Swag Lord says, no problem. It's not even four yet. <laughs> Swag Lord. See what other names they have. Bloomin' Baby. Harpsill Pup. Sponge. And Spegnart. Spegnart. Or Spegan Art. It could be Spegan Art. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Disaster right. avoided. Ready. All right. Set up. I hope he does that Iron 2 account justice, Chuck. <laughs> oh, oh, you're, you're just going to. The good thing about it is you'll, you'll go ahead and lower your rankings. So. Maybe you'll I'm win sure more. I'm sure he'll up it so maybe I can actually win. No, uh, I imagine. No. Uh, uh, blind rank now, so that'd be great. Tristana off the board, right off the bat. Chuck, what do you think about that? I mean, I don't blame them. I they're, Tristana, yeah, they're coming after your champion there already. Yeah, and Tristana's brand. like the thing. Brand Ooh, off brand. The board. Ooh. That's support guys. Yeah, support guy likes playing brand, but he he's got to know that that's going to happen quite a bit. Yeah, Tristana's uh, kind of meta right now, so I understand that. Brand's just awkward to play against. They're taking the Zeri off the board and taking the volley off the board. Taking yeah. my volley bear, man. Yeah, I, so our my Trist and your volley uh, bears off the board. Uh, we yeah. wouldn't even be able to play in this no, game. No, that's it. We just have to forfeit right now. Sure enough. <laughs> Looks like they're going to also take Vane out. So there'll be no Vane for the ADC. And what? Yeah, no Lee Sin for this match either, so. But we got Ghost Dragon locking in the gin there, so I think he's going to be locking that in for. Spignard oh, a Heimerd is a Heimerdinger. Spignard is Heimerdinger. Uh, I like the Heimerdinger uh, pick, really, Chuck, even though it's not on our side. Ch uh, Heimerdinger's a lot of fun to play, so. Very, very good lane pressure. He is a lane terror as far as lane pressure and tower. Draven. Pressure. A Draven. Spong. Yep. Draven's very good ADC. Lots and lots of damage output. So uh, I can see that pick being tough to play into, probably in the bottom lane. Not Waves picks Braum. Hey, that should be our support player right there. I think that'll be a pretty good pick. Brahm's very tanky. And we're going to see what happens in the top lane here. Looks like we might have a Shivana pick going on. I'm not sure. They're talking it over over there. So they're trying to strategize their team comp. Ooh, switch, switch draw a second and picked uh, up yeah. Katarina. Katarina. I hope that's a good pick. Um, that's our new... I don't remember. What's his handle when he does have a handle? Bunts? Something bunt? Yes. Calling bunts. And we got a zillion support coming in here. It's a nice mage pick. Bloomin' uh, Baby will be on zillion. Yeah, nice. I like zillion. Uh, the extra XP that you can give to your teammate is really nice. The resurrection is really nice. So it's kind of like you have a guardian angel, uh, even if you don't have the guardian angel uh, item. So that works out real nice there. So... So I, I like both of these teams' picks so far. Ghost Dragon's getting his ban in. 
Yep. No Dr. Mundo. Dr. Mundo. He's out of there. No walking around headbutting towers in this on this match in the rift, Chuck. It's Big Nards now. <laughs> selecting his ban. Vigar. Nard. Don't blame him there. I hate Vigar. <laughs> I'll ban Vigar every single time. I was about to say, there's going to be no love lost for Vigar over here, I promise you. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, excellent ban, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to ban out Vigar. But that really doesn't affect any of our players. Um, none of our players played Vigar, so. Yeah, they're going to ban out Orn for their last ban, so. I don't they, blame them there. We've yeah. seen some pretty nasty Orns in this meta. Yes, we have. Actually, that Orn uh, that we saw play, oh, no, it was Malphite Jungle. Was yeah, and up speaking of Malphite, looks like we might have a Malphite in this match. Now that I just said that, Swag Lord, so. of course, somebody with the name Swag Lord's gonna. Pick oh, he's me. gonna pick the Tom Kinch. So, ah, yes, nice sure pick enough. there. That's probably gonna go into the top lane. Could Tom could be support Kinch went also. Swag Lord, yeah. yeah uh, so we're gonna so. see who the Chicken Lord picks. Mordekaiser. interesting pick. I love the Mordekaiser pick. Uh, nothing more fun than stomping around the rift, playing as Mordekaiser, uh, smashing people. With I'm interested to see I mean, what the support guy is going to pick because I mean he's been killing it with Singe and fiddlesticks. Okay, <laughs> that's I, a, that's that a surprise yeah. by me. I, I, I don't know Actually, if I've ever seen his fiddlestick play. I'm, I'm not sure either, but fiddlesticks is like. And Olaf. Pretty similar to Brand in a lot of ways. Mm. As far as high magic Now they're swapping damage. out, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we'll see. I think support's going to be Braum. Uh, Fiddlesticks is going to be uh, Jungle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I see what they're doing now. I forgot they're swapping. We haven't done this yeah. in a little while, Chuck. I'm a little rusty. Yeah, so Jin is Chicken Lord. I got yeah. it. Mordekaiser's yeah. now playing top. Ghost Dragon. Yeah. Fiddlesticks is Nightwave. Yeah. Katarina is our substitute, and yes. Brom is the support guy. I like it. I like it. I, I like the picks. Yeah. I think that will be just. Draven fine. and Zillion's playing into our Jen Brom. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Ken just playing into our Mordekaiser. Olaf's into Fiddlesticks. I was thinking it weird. It's not weird for Chicken Lord to play Mordekaiser. It's just weird for Chicken Lord to play Mordekaiser in the ADC row. Right. But he has played uh, Jen quite a bit. Uh, Honestly, his gen plays gotten solid, way way better. Yeah, uh, it's definitely solid. I can tell he, I can tell he's really starting to pick the champion up. So, still he, he can take it as far as he wants to, but he's definitely much much better, much more comfortable on gen than he was before. So, said so I haven't seen the the Braum very much, so we'll see what uh, happens with that. But honestly, I like the Braum with the gen because he's a close up bruiser, very tanky. Uh, lots of shields, uh, AOE damage, so it's played really well with Jin. Fair enough. All right, this will technically be our first match of this fall uh, in League of Legends, Chuck, because we had an FF last week, so yeah. excited to see these kids actually get to play. <laughs> they were really disappointed they didn't get to play last week. Uh, we tried to get them a match off the uh, random match finder. Finally, they just played a match and we streamed it, but it was just against random. So, always nice to play against another school. Glad to see uh, Hall in esports. Uh, we played Hall, them yeah. in yeah, we played them in other. I think we played them in Rocket League before, Chuck. Okay. I think I could be wrong, but we played them in something. I know because I knew their mascot as soon as I saw it on the schedule. Right. So, the bulldog or the yeah, mastiff. The mastiff. Yeah, Sorry. So. Sorry. <laughs> Better watch out, Chuck. They might be coming to get you over there. They, they may be. It is a Mastiff. There's a big difference <laughs> in dog. Uh, there's a big difference. difference in Mastiff and <laughs> Maybe 150 pounds of big difference. <laughs> I think you might be about right on that one. Oh, shoot fire. Oh, I'm curious to see their Olaf jungle. Olaf's a meta jungle right now. He actually probably was played more jungle uh, before his rework. But uh, his R is <laughs> super nasty. Uh, basically, if he uses his ultimate, you need to run from him is how you deal with Olaf. So uh, it's really nice for clearing out space, too, if you just know you need that or to help save other teammates. So Yeah, they, they have a very professional-looking 
a team draft. I agree. I agree. Like I said, I, I like the ADC. There's nothing wrong with our team draft, but theirs does look like it's geared for team fights. Yes, definitely. I, I would say so. They have a tank. Uh, they have high DPS. Uh, they have good good support with, with the stuns and the resurrection, uh, which basically means we're going to have to take out one of their champions twice in team fights. Uh, right. Unless Zillion happens to go down first. Um, so we'll have to watch for that. Yeah, we'll have to definitely focus that if that's going to be our – but, you know, we're not – we've got a couple brawlers in, in the fight too, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like the Fiddlesticks pick. Um, yes. It's definitely meta right now. So, I, I know that's been played uh, quite a bit here in the lab. So, um, excited to see uh, Dane get to play that over there. So. All right, we'll just make sure our game capture captures. Of course, we still got the loading screen to go through. Hey, that's all right. We're getting there. So we are on a delay over here, even though we're streaming. Uh, Riot has it set up on a delay, so there can't be any insider information there while the match is going on. So. I know, and it makes it hard because you can hear the you hear the emotion coming from the other side of the room. This is where I really wish we had a sound booth. Lock me in. Don't bother me. I don't want to know the outcome. Right. I agree. It, it would be much better because of the delay. All right. Now okay. we should be launching. If not, we'll get it fixed. Even though the bug has been better lately. I hope so. I still can't believe that they haven't <laughs> done something with that. That just blows my mind, Chuck. I mean, it's not like this is uh, a startup, small company we're dealing with right. here. This is sure enough. But we are in the match now. We'll be getting directed there camera we soon. Go. I'm not seeing it show up yet, but we can always go on one. I thought it was the one that was game capture, but there it is, Chuck. Oh, okay. You had to turn the Elgato off, I think, is what it, when we swap back and forth or something. Nope. Looked like it was just being okay. frustrating. Okay. Sure enough, get back over here. Yes, items. Show our items off. Fog of War off. We'll leave Fog of War on. And we're going to see it from. We are the blue team. Yes, we are the blue team. Clinton will be in blue on this match. Has Hall will be in the red on this particular match. They do swap sides after the match. So looks like Clinton is going to play it pretty safe here. It looks like uh, Hall did come in for an invade, but they decided to back out of it. So. Fair enough. Yeah. And we're going to give a leash at the bottom lane, and we're off and running now, Chuck. Yep, bottom lane is back in. <clears throat> They're going to split river. That's an unusual approach to the – probably going to face check that bush. You're probably right. Top lane up here is already swapping back and forth, so they're really – yeah. Really going head to head already, so really and truly Ghost Dragon's gonna have to be able to push push hard on the top lane for, for Clinton to be able to play the game they want to play. I agree with you, Chuck. Uh, he likes to play aggressive anyway, so it's not a far stretch for him at all. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him uh, just come out as aggressive as possible in this match. Yeah, that Yeah, our mid laner's in a little bit of trouble there. It, it amazes me how fast they can pick out that they need to put pressure on the new guy. I mean, they know right away. Uh, hey, like I said, especially with Heimerdinger, uh, he puts a lot of lane pressure anyway just because of his turrets. So to have to stand back 
uh, just like he's doing right now, uh, doesn't really surprise me at all. Yeah, he really has intelligence for the game. He just hadn't adopted the game yet. So. No, we're, we're getting there. Like I said, we've got several new players. I'm excited about it, though, because we've got some young blood coming in here. It's exactly what we needed. We graduated five seniors last year. So we've had to replace several uh, people in roles. So here we got Mil Top Morning Kaiser, coming down. Fiddlesticks coming to punish. Loose. They're like, uh, nope, yeah. that's our new guy. You can't be hurting him. Yeah, nice we're job him by out. him yeah. coming down for a shove. Yeah, definitely realizing that Mid was in trouble there and coming to help out. So nice job okay. by them. Ooh, bad mistake by Mordekaiser mm -hmm. there. They. Oh, now they're going to come down. Yep, but it's going to be – he's going to go ahead and retreat there to tower, so I Fair think he's going to be okay on that one. He had to flash out of it, so he is going to give up a summoner spell. Nice stun there by Zillion. He got actually both bottom laners, so. Sure enough, definitely, definitely playing the team fights early. Yes, and Olaf's going to come in here, but he's going to get feared, and he's going to get doubled up on again here with Mordekaiser. A nice job shoving him out there, uh, shoving him out of the jungle there. Paul looking really good so far. Clinton coming out. I said uh, hopping lanes here early a little bit, kind of moving around, seeing what they can kind of get away with, what they can do. So I said I like, I like bottom lane there. It's actually, you know, just staying in their farming mode. They're definitely farming lane. Like I said, they're really going to have to. Um, bottom's going to have to hold their own. Um, middle's going to have to take up space. And really, top's going to have to put heavy pressure so that he can roam like he wants to. Yeah. We've got a really good match so far. They're really swapping back and forth. 1-0, but gold's pretty close here, too, so... Uh, good, exciting match so far. Yeah, and the, and the Katarina into Heimerdinger, I mean... That's not gonna. That's not gonna surprise anybody. No, no. It's it's really tough melee uh, into Heimerdinger until she gets her ultimate. Then if she gets behind him and uses her ultimate, she can uh, take him out pretty quickly. But as far as uh, melee into Heimerdinger, it's pretty tough. Yeah. And they're going for dragon down here, so we've got Hall going for dragon already. Early dragon. Yep. Um, Bottom smart enough to figure that out. They know where they're at. Yeah. That's fine on a, uh, Dragon. I mean, that is one objective. It does give them a little bit of a leg up. I think that was the Water Drake there, Chuck. Yeah, fair um, enough. It does give them a, a little bit of an advantage there, but uh, one early Dragon not going to completely sway the game one way or the other. And there goes. Yep. yep. Nice job by the mid there, the Heimerdinger, realizing that Katarina was too far up. Got all three turrets up there. So really the only thing Katarina can do is just play underneath turret until lane and phase is over with Chuck. And then, yeah. then after that, that'll free uh, free her up a little bit to do a little more, be more involved in team fights. So Mordecai's are playing very aggressive here. Got to watch Heimerdinger and Olaf are both coming up. Uh, Fiddlesticks is up here too. They might be trying to dive here. I'm not sure, but they're going to have to be careful. Yeah, they I'm really, really want, careful. like I said, they really want to get that top tower. Mm. They really want to put heavy pressure quick there. Yeah, nice job retreating out of that. Nice job by Fiddlesticks getting out of there. Nice job by Mord. Yeah, that really, could have been really just, bad. it burned their time. Worried. It yeah. actually worked out well because it burned their time. It allowed us to get some XP in middle without getting dead so yeah, yeah i agree said that that burnt them some xp time just yeah. walking up there didn't really affect us much on that yeah we're just not pushed up as far as we were that's about all we lose on that yeah bottom lane jen's got to be a little bit careful here they're definitely targeting him but so far doing really good i think with uh the pressure that's being applied oh yeah we're we're, we're right about to hit the level six power spike that's going to tell everything to be honest, Mordekaiser's yeah. in the six. Yeah, I Tom think he Kings does have his ultimate yep. to use if he needs it. I, I believe. I don't think he's used it yet. So, 
We'll see what Ghost Dragon can do here. He's swapping from one to the other. Man, he's going to be hard for him to deal with that. Oh, Ooh, he got he does one of them before one. he does go down. Nice. <laughs> Doesn't get both. I, he could have got. He could have got the one. He chose the one he got. So yeah, yeah. So was, we feel good knowing that he got to choose who he killed. Yeah. Nice job by him. And the the Tom Kinch can't back. He has to stay in lane and put mm-hmm. pressure. So he may still end up getting both of them. Yeah. Said fiddlesticks roaming around here too. Let's see what he's going to do. Katarina coming back to lane. Said really just needs to play under that tower. Just try to frustrate Heimerdinger as much as possible. Just don't give up a free kill. I said, we have some new players. We're playing some substitutes today. I said, this is a great learning experience for them. Glad they're here. Glad they get to play. So, nice job there. Good avoidance. Definitely avoiding the missiles there and staying back. So, Nope. Yeah, just need to stay back because, and I'm sure he doesn't know this when you play Heimerdinger, if you hit him and you're in range of his turrets, they all turn around and fire on you. Yeah. So they're pretty much going to yeah, melt it's you. Yeah, it's basically yeah. a tower. Yeah, so you, you, you can't hit him. You, you go up and kill the – the play is to go up and kill the turret. Let's see what Ghost Dragon can pull off here. Ghost Dragon's definitely been getting the best of top lane, um, but it, is it going to be enough? I don't, yeah, I don't know. So our jungler's really got to focus on farming, too, because as we get into later game, he's going to have to be able to help out with that fiddlesticks. But I think he knows that. I think that's what he's working on. Said so they'll probably get first turret here, looks like, with Heimerdinger. But I'm not really surprised by that because Heimerdinger and Ziggs are both siege monsters. So, I mean, that's pretty norm for them anyway, regardless. And there goes Fiddlesticks, Fiddlesticks coming yeah. in for the gank. Let's see if he can polish that off. I'm Cured, not sure. I don't know. Mordekaiser's falling right in. <clears throat> so if they can get the stun off on it, that could happen. Jin goes down for the first time this game. Yep. He got hit with the ultimate there. Yep. So. There he pulls him back a little bit. Yeah, uh, we got the. Nope. No. Flashed out nice of it. Nice job by the Heimerdinger flashing out of there. Wow. And here comes Olaf down, wanting to get in on some of the action too. So. Yeah, sure. He will take Kaiser will be fine to say, hey, if you want to follow me to this tower over here, we can play. Nice dip there. Nice, nice back and forth by both teams. Looking really good there. Uh, let's see what the fiddlesticks can do here against the Olaf. And he's just going to opt to just just get on out of there. He saw, he saw the support coming up. Nice job by him. Realizing it was going to be a two on one there real quick. So. Yeah, they're going to take that dragon. See what Kaiser can do here. Bottom. Catch underneath the tower. I hope Bottom's well aware of what's going on above him. It'd be real easy for him to push up. Yeah. Die. Send a couple tower shots there for the Tom Kinch, so. Nice job by the Katarina getting out of there. Said so still still trying to apply a ton of lane pressure. So we'll see. I think Heimerdinger will get the tower out of this. He should. He's got enough minions there. Plus his yeah, Katarina already needs to be thinking about defense. Yeah, getting out of there. Yeah. I said just doesn't know. I said new player. Just glad to have someone to play in the role today. And definitely nothing against our new player. That's just part of learning the game. And they'll end up doing that to somebody else one of these days, Chuck, I promise you. They'll catch someone else that's new, and they won't know what's going on, and they'll be able to take advantage of their uh, lack of knowledge in lane. I said, even even for an experienced player, Heimerdinger is hard to deal with in lane. Uh, a lot of people just don't like laning against him, and you can see why. I said, with his turrets. I really like what I'm seeing in the bottom lane where they put pressure, but they didn't go ahead and commit. They, they stayed down below river. 
I do like that, and they just waited on their minion wave to come up, which is very smart on their part. Yeah, because, I mean, I bet they feel a lot of pressure to do something to help the team out. Right. But the best thing they can do is just play the game. Yeah, yeah, very smart on their part. Just go ahead, you know, get in there. Oh, nice, nice job there by the Heimerdinger. Wow. Wow, he waited on that. Nice play there by the mid laner. Yeah, he's, he's six and zero oh now, so they they really need to set up something yeah. to get him uh, and get that bounty bounty off of him too. Nice Man, shield yes, there by the ex Brahm. That's excellent, a great job. Which which the Brahm? I mean, he hasn't been playing, but since the beginning of school, so yeah, he's he's really shown that he can handle the skank. I knew whenever we thought about bringing him in and talking to him, I knew he had the definitely had the intelligence level to pull it off, no doubt. So, and he's he's showing that right now. Mm. Man, if if Ghost Dragon could have got that, that'd have been great. Swag Lord ends up taking out Chicken Lord. Yep, that'll be Chicken Lord's second death of the game, I do believe. I don't think Brahms went down yet. He plays safe when Chicken Lord's not there. They're definitely targeting the ADC, as they should be. Yeah. They don't. They don't want to give up that herald. No, they don't, and I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to either. They're already down two dragons, so they're they're feeling pressured. Especially as you're playing jungle, you're gonna feel pressured on those objectives because you feel like it's your responsibility to take care of that. But it honestly, is. <laughs> the, it, it, yeah. But honestly, the best thing he can do here is, is just get out because uh, it's not going to be good here, I don't think. He's going to spit him out right in the middle of those turrets. Yeah. So, nice team play here by Hall. I mean, they, they're really playing well together. I said he got Heimerdinger, knows he's got the lead and advantage, so he's just farming right now. Uh, got Zillion up here in the middle. They're really going to put pressure on this middle. Now yeah, they're going to go the Yeah, they're yeah. going to go ahead and got it right here. Yeah, see, that here, that Herald, it's going to go ahead and take out. Yeah, yeah, nice recognition by them, and they're going to go ahead and get in hib too on that. So, nice yeah. job. It's going to be team fight middle. Yep. And I just don't know if now nah, here comes ultimate. I like this ultimate right here. It's perfect timing on that. See if Chicken Lord can get someone knocked down there. It's a couple of hits in there. I said, might be able to get them down low enough that they can't really stay in. They're going to have a hard time there with the tower still being up. So, nice job by Hall, though, recognizing that, hey, you know, we push this as far as we should. They're not overstaying. They're getting out. So, it's really smart on their part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, if you're Hall, you want to just seal that deal. Make that a quick kill and, and be yeah. demoralizing, but um, good yep. job, good job by the gen. Yeah, suppressing them. Yep. Nice, nice job there. Realizing that their backs were kind of against the wall there. They're going to be able to get the shove out here now. So, oh man, this this Heimerdinger is on a rampage now. Ten and zero. So yeah, I don't know if there's any way to. Uh, he's already got. Uh, Leandri's, uh, his boots, um, working on a fourth item. <laughs> yeah, he's he's going to be someone to be reckoned with, Chuck. <laughs> it looks like they're going to go ahead and secure this Drake here. I don't think that the Yellow Jackets can do anything about it. They just no, just I'm too far got in. them suppressed. Yeah, so. so nice recognition there by Hall uh, coming back and picking up that Drake off that big shove in. That's what set that all up for him, Chuck. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean that's textbook case right there. You got your other teams dealing with the mid gut. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. So they're they're hemorrhaging. They could do to contest. Yeah, yeah, they're hemorrhaging losses in the middle. I said so, excellent gameplay by them. Yeah, the only thing that they're going to have to be careful. Clinton right here. can do right now is hope for overextension. Yep. He pulled those turrets right into him. Look at that ward right oh, in the base. And Tom Kinch is going to try to come in there. It's going to pay off. I think it is, man. He's a, he's just able to tank it. He's tanky enough right now. He's running Frostfire, too. I just now realized that. So, uh, lots of slowing potential there. Uh, lots of armor, magic resist. So, the Tom Kinch is already kind of tanky as it is. He's trying his, to bring him into the towers. Yeah, he really is. 
Yeah, it's nice really job the only by thing the top he can do. Yeah, he's, he's just tanking that tower right now. It might end up being a mistake for him. Yeah, it was a good move by the Fiddlesticks to try that. Yeah. So, heads up play. They may actually get him. Man, just look how, how long he's able nice. to tank for, though. I mean, that's yes. just, like, insane. Nice nice job uh, by their Tom Kinch because he just killed a lot of time there for the Yellow Jackets. So, their, their Heimerdinger is definitely feeling Yeah, it really, now. if they could have got the – the Heimerdinger, the way they got that Kinch, that would have paid off. Yeah. So, and once again, they're they're backing out, realize that they got the push in just like they wanted. So, they're getting what they want, and they're backing out and buying, and they're just coming back again. So, yeah, really, at this point, it's their game to lose, and the only thing they can do to lose is to push too fast, too hard. Yeah, you're exactly right, Chuck. If they overextend here, then yes, they will probably. Uh, cause themselves more damage than good for sure uh, if they just stay back and just continue to farm and play they can maintain the lead that they have and there's really not a whole lot that the yellow jackets can do about it at this point nice job by the draven down there go ahead and, and pushing that bottom in kind of a split push there the middle's already gutted so gonna force clinton to have to deal with it it's super smart here they're not gonna let our jungler get into his jungle and jungle it's exactly what you want to do when you have a lead so they're just forced him out actually going to get the takedown there on him and they're probably going to dive more here I, I don't see why they wouldn't but no, no, it, and they may not, but uh, they definitely had a potential for a dive right there. That's for sure. Because Brom and Katarina are here for the easy pickings. Yeah. Yeah, and there goes the dive. Yeah, there yeah. goes the dive. Now they're all going to jump in on him. Going to carry him out of tower range right there. Very smart by their top laner. I, I really like the Tom Kinch play. It's really, really good. Really good recognition and what uh, Tom brings to the game. Jen's like, no, this is my bottom lane. <laughs> Y'all ain't going to come in here and just take my tower like hey, that. Hey, Jen is wailing away here. I don't, I just, I don't know if he's going to make it out of there, but I, I'm actually surprised That was did. an excellent play. Yeah, that excellent was an excellent job. play. And, now and there he goes with the ultimate. Yeah, yep, they're going to run. Yep, yep, that's going to definitely suppress them back some with the ultimate. They got him, but <laughs> he definitely gave him a fight. Yeah. Nice job there by the Jin. Hey, nice. Hey. And he might get – oh, they did two get the hole off. Wow. He did get two of them with that play. Nice job. Not technically, but – Well, he's going to get the shutdown for that because he got the last hit. So, that's that is going to give uh, some gold in Chicken Lord's pocket there. So, that'll be nice. Really nice gameplay out of Braum, too. I mean, I said, this is a new player. It really bodes well for us for him to play this well. Yeah, really, the bottom lane, solid play. I mean, he's got eight assists uh, with zero, zero. I mean, what else could you want from your support? I mean, that's exactly what you want. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the bottom lane was well played. The top lane was well played. It just uh, come down to more experience in the, on the other team. Yeah, I agree. Because looking at looking at them before game, we knew the Mordecai's the not Mordecai's or the um, Heimerdinger was going to be a problem. We knew that their um, Tom Kinch was a solid player. Yeah, you know it was, and their bottoms played well too. I mean, they just—it's one of those things where you don't necessarily have to do a whole lot. You just don't do things to lose for your team. Don't screw up. Yeah, and and that's what they've done. They just farmed helped out, done what they needed to do, and, and not tried to push anything too hard or too far, and, and allowed their teammates to get a lead. Yeah, they're going to take another dragon. Yeah. And I think, that, is this going to be Soul here, Chuck? I think it will be Soul. Yellow Jackets are trying to get out here and just get anything they can. Going to go ahead and shut down the... Yeah, but Heimerdinger's got there, the cutoff yeah, angle. He's in, he's in hot pursuit, I promise you. Yeah, he's yeah, about he's to like, find him in that bush. Yeah, you took my Draven out. I'm coming for you. Sure enough, he got he got to teleport. So Nice job there. Yeah, he got away with the kill, the assassination. 
So it's a massive lead here now for Hall. Um, it would be one heck of a comeback. Uh, if the, yeah, it, it, would, it would be a comeback for ages. We'd have to put this one in the vault somewhere and put it in our lock and key and never lose the footage. <laughs> but said Yellow Jacket's not, not quitting, not letting up, so I, I'm proud of him for that. Said we've been in, in this position before. We've been in uh, positions where we're very far behind uh, in the past. So this game it does have a huge learning curve. So Heimerdinger still in hot pursuit here. Nice job by Chicken Lord backing off of that and not even trying to really fight it. Just I'll oh, catch yeah. you out a little. I'll catch you out a little bit if I can. Other than that, you know. For, you know, I'm just going to go back to my tower. And, and that's one of the things he yeah. likes about Jen is he's, he's able to kite away. He knows how to use the the character. Um, and this might be there he goes. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like how he's using cover with the Jen all the time. He's always got some kind of cover, tower, something around him, so he's not yeah. just exposing himself out there uh, when he's in that ultimate because that's the way you interrupt it. Nice job there. Hall's going to go ahead and push on in, looks like. Yeah. I think that, this is going to be GG. This is right GG. I don't think there's anything they can do to stop it. Very nice job by Hall there. GG's to them. Yeah. Yeah, very, GGs very nice. GG's all the way around. Yep. Not exactly the outcome we wanted, but um, not surprised coming into this season. Like I said, we've got some new players. Let's take a little bit to get them on board. Um, very nice gameplay there. Uh, uh Congrats to Hall for their gameplay and for their team play. They really did a good job of supporting their players when they got fed. I mean, I, I'm just going to say that. Uh, they did a great job of rallying around the Heimerdinger. Uh, the Tom Kinch played excellent top and excellent support, almost a support role, really, Chuck. And then their Olaf just came in there and gave them just that little extra ump they needed and played a solid game in the jungle. So nice, nice job by them all the way around. I really like what we saw from our bottom lane. Uh, our support played really well. Our ADC played well. Uh, didn't quite get the gameplay that we wanted out of our mid lane, top lane. But, like I said, part of that's to be expected. It's growing pains for us. So, Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Just ignore me while I'm trying to get us the screen. <laughs> Chuck's up. driving over here. so. Yeah, I'm just trying to get something set up for later in the year. We're missing a piece. Okay. Missing the piece of the puzzle here. I said they're going to run it back here. They're going to swap sides. They're going to do the draft again. So we'll be back with a little bit more League of Legends actions here in just a few more minutes. I can see them over there getting everything set up. So they're talking to each other, trying to figure out what they're going to do this time as far as team comp or strategy. So to maybe get mid into a uh, more of a comfort pick I think would be the first thing when he does that. Would, yeah, I would definitely. Uh, even if it's not a traditional mid laner, just just get a comfort pick in there. Uh, get someone that he's more used to moving around on, running around on. Um, bottom, I really wouldn't change anything about our bottom. I think they played great. Uh, I think our top lane uh, may have had a dip a little too early, kind of affects affected his lead as far as CS goes. Uh, still wasn't bad, but uh, didn't just quite have his way like he's used to. So uh, We'll be streaming tomorrow. Uh, we'll have some more Smash Brothers action for you. Uh, Thursday, we stream Rocket League and Mario Kart both. So we will have that for you to watch. So if you are watching us, have watched us, do like watching us, hey, tune in. Uh, Tuesdays through Thursdays. Uh, we stream each one of those days at 4 o'clock. So, love to have you uh, join us and watch us play in this uh, Arkansas High School Esports. And we are AAA. We're excited to play. This is our third year. And like I said, we've got some really good teams this season we're excited about. Uh, we're excited about competing against other schools in the state and just have fun playing esports. <laughs> Do I have to hit play? Um, they should send you an invite. 
I missed it, Hannah. Uh, we'll maybe, I'm though. not sure. I think they're on champion select, so. So I missed it. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, they're trying to strategize so much over there. I think they may have forgot to invite you. Let me see if they can send us an invite real quick. You'll just have to spectate it because they've already done their draft. Oh, yeah, and rolls are going on right now, too, Chuck. Fair enough. So, I'm just going to have to go. Yeah, spectate. All right, sorry about that for our viewer, but at least I got it set up now so that you can actually see the draft and stuff. Yes, that's awesome. And we'll go through our team here. Uh, looks like we're going to have a Darius, a Kane, a Vigar. Uh, Chuck will love that. Uh, and we're going to have Jen and Braun. I, I love that they picked the same champions for bottom lane. I, I really like that. I think they can just grow off. We got a Vigar. So, yeah, super annoying Vigar. Uh, that's good, too. <laughs> They're going to be bringing uh, Orn and Dr. Mundo and Pantheon. And they're going to go with uh, Draven and probably a Swain, looks like, in the bottom lane down there. After after the first showing, what do you think the chances are that they're invading this game is going to be pretty heavy? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think if I was Hall, I would probably say, you know what, let's just don't take a chance. Let's, let's, play just, let's just play our game that we know we can play. We know uh, we, we like the way, way the first game went, so let's just do that, rinse and repeat, and get out of here. I can uh, understand that strategy. But they may go for something super aggressive. I mean, just because of what they've seen, they may think, you know what? It's a free game. Yeah. This so, middle game's a free game. And yeah. I wouldn't be too worried about what I've seen if I was them. So No, you you definitely got a point, Chuck. I mean, that's, that's what makes this game so much fun, though, is – is not knowing and the strategy and what your enemy's doing at all times and said so if they do set up an invade i mean and they get it, it it can be a big boost right off the bat but if you don't get it and you you know lose that invade it's, it's kind of a morality buster and we'll know here in just a few minutes i th thought oh he is playing darius that's right i i thought for a second that when i looked over there um when I was trying to get him to invite us, I thought he had chosen uh, a Garen. So that's my bad. I, I got it confused with the Darius. So <clears throat> so all right, superb villain Vigar. Oh, that's even better, isn't it? It is. He, he, he really it? should be a villain in, in some series. Is he a villain in some series? Surely he is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he almost has to be, right? He can't be a good guy. No. <clears throat> He's got to be a heel. There's no, there's no doubt. I'm running screen capture. I need to be running game capture here. Just...
Well, we may run screen capture. Look, the Yellow Jackets are coming up here. I don't see a heavy invade formation. Looks like they're just going to be content to say, "Keep talking," because you know, it, it, it's okay. We'll just. But it looks like the Yellow Jackets might be wanting to try and invade here for the jungler. I don't know. Maybe they're just getting a ward out. They did do get a ward out, so they can see that top. And Kane is excellent at invades, so I would not be surprised one bit to see him do like a three camp invade. Something like that, especially because he is so mobile. Well, I've got complete black. Okay. I have no idea. So it looks like we're going to get a leash on the bottom lane down here. So looks like uh, Hass Hall is going to go right, for the leash. See my problem. And now we're back to the action. That so Draven is very good for leashing, and they're going to play a Mundo jungle this time, and that's that's pretty meta too. So I'm kind of surprised by that a little bit, but we'll see what they do with it. I'm sure their uh, player is comfortable with that champion, or he wouldn't have made that pick. So, all right, so we're Brom and Jin again in the bottom. Um, also, Blue is now. Right, yeah, blue yeah, still. Blue's the yellow, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They don't know we're covered. This is amazing. Yeah, red is Hall. They didn't switch sides. I mean, we usually switch no, sides. No, they normally swap sides. I Maybe they know. were like, we're fine with you, all fine with it. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know what happened there for sure, but either way, we're, we're still on the same side here, so. Set in the Pantheon's going to be playing into the Vigar. It should help Vigar out a little bit at first just because of the range advantage. Right, uh, but as, as a new player, Vigar, it, it's real easy with Vigar to run out of mana and uh, overextend, so. Yeah, I agree. I mean, as frustrating as Vigar is, he can also be frustrating to play, so. This is true. Nice job Darius there by the a big, yeah. yeah, he's putting some heat yeah. on. But they're they're really going back and forth there though. It's definitely not lopsided at all. So No. No, really it's just how how fast can the mid lane push? Yeah. In my opinion, like as far as this game. Oh, that ignite. Oh yeah, it's not good. That mid lane's just having fun. Yeah. Ooh, Dr. Oh, Dr. Mundo nice comes out, but he gets the kill. Dr. Mundo's going to try to avenge him as, as he goes back. No fool on him. Nice job on the cane here coming after the Pantheon, yeah. too, and he might actually get that. I don't know if he's going to have enough to get that one last hit that he really needed. Darius is going to go down to the Mundo there, so nice counter gank there by the Mundo. Bottom lane looking good here. Yeah, so really moving and playing as a unit. Those, yeah, those two like, uh, really play well together. Yeah, they do. And I like their spacing is really good right now, Chuck. Like they're standing yeah, side that's, by that's side. That's exactly what I'm talking about yeah. there, how they how they move. They really work as a team. They they rotate. Yeah, and I, I like the Braum here, seeing that Jen might have been in a little bit of trouble there. He's really doing good with that shield, Chuck. And he, yeah. you see how he just comes in there and jumps on the enemy ADC. Uh, to hold hold him and suppress him to not let him get his ADC. So that's exactly what you should do as a support. Yeah. Nice job by Jen recognizing he's in trouble and walking back to tower where, you know, he can protect himself too. So those, those two I think is going to be a real good combo for our bottom lane going forward, Chuck. Uh, I'm excited by what I'm seeing there. Yeah, like, like a good bass player and a good drummer. They, they work together very well. Yeah, and Vigar actually getting a push here on the Pantheon, so <laughs> nice job. Yeah. Yeah. He probably need to play a more of a comfort pick. Oh, get out of there, Vigar. Yeah, that's not good there. You no, not going the wrong to, way. That's a rookie mistake. Do not want to melee as Vigar. <laughs> that's not your strength. That's okay.
such a heavy push there, Tom. Yeah. He really does a good job. It's just not enough. Yeah, I just like the I like bot here waiting waiting on that minion wave to come. They weren't ready to quite back yet, so they decided to just hang out and wait on it. And by them getting in the bush like that, Chuck, it doesn't let the enemy team know if they backed or not. So that's a very nice job by them. Yeah, really. They they've got the they've got that bottom figured out. The, the yeah, two nice job by Braun. They may not have the experience they need, but no. But they're they're definitely going in the right direction. Nice job there. Even Jen, knowing he's going to go down, steps up and gets an extra shot off to help his team uh, get this a little bit extra DPS. And, and Dr. Like Mundo that. coming in for the dive. Yeah, another counter gank. Yeah, Darius is going to get the dunk there, though. So, if he could get Mundo down just a little Ooh. bit lower. You no, know, he doesn't because Pantheon's going to bust out the ultimate there and come in to help secure that Darius kill. Nice job by the Pantheon Roman there. Yeah, definitely. I, 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 bottom spacing still really nice. I'm going to stick right in the back pocket of my ADC wherever he goes. I, I love seeing that. Yeah, you think that he was. Yeah, yeah. You you think they've been playing together for a long time? Yeah, they they both have really picked up on the on the spacing part there, no doubt. Yeah, we had another a new kid in the lab that was learning a little bit of ADC, and um, we asked Chicken Lord to, and he was, oh, it's not good. And I'm like, you're just used to you're just used to being down there with the support guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Once they get used to playing around <laughs> each other, I mean, it, it's really tough for them to play with someone else. And when we have someone new come in, like Chuck saying, we'll ask you know one of the other kids to you know maybe hey show them the ropes a little bit. And it's, yeah, it can be tough because, like I said, this game has the highest learning curve of any game I've ever played. Man, that nice job by the horn. Wow, so I can't believe close. he got out of that. Yeah. Man. Pop. Jen using the range. Vigard mm, wants to get in there and do something to help. Yep. Just can't figure out what it is. Yep. That, that's just an experience there is all that is like I said Vigar definitely you want to you want to stay at range with him especially against the Pantheon uh, but Pantheon taking full advantage of it that bottom's just farming away still Chuck I mean they're they're just content to stay in their lane farm and that's the best thing they can do for their team right now honestly yeah, I mean really they're the the go difference would be far far different. Yes. We got Darius coming in, going to try to get in on the Pantheon. Yep. And we got both junglers in here, so good man, chance. Real slobber knocker here. Nice job by the Darius. Yeah, but then he goes he's down. To, yeah, and Doctor Mondo's going to get. Mundo. Yeah, he's. That's all right. That's that's a nice. We'll. I'd say we'd take that just just for the fact that that keeps them off the tower. Vigar seven eight difference not going to be enough against that Doctor Mondo. No, no way. He's going to have to stay back. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Way good to, job getting back. Yeah. I like the Swain support pick by Hass Hall just because Swain's super annoying. He's a little more tanky now since his. Uh, this last patch update too, and so it, it's he's a lot better at kind of hanging in there and uh, creating more disruptions than he was before. There we go. I think, think no, no, don't don't walk up, don't walk up. Whatever you do, don't walk up to Pantheon. Just get back. Oh, he's got him in the cage, and it's too late. 
been, he's, he's getting closer to it. If he would have been back just a little bit further, put that cage out, I think he could have taken him down there, really. Just just from tower aggro. Fair enough. And Hall is going to get the second Drake, so nice job by them. Nice recognition. Seeing the jungler up top, knowing that the jungler wasn't down there to do anything about it. Nice push up top, too, by the Yellow Jackets. Pantheon's trying to get some more of that plate gold in there. Moves out just yeah. in time, as if he knew they were coming down the uh, river. I'm sure he had a pretty good idea that he was about to have some company. There, there was a ward right there, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna try to we're gonna try to take this risky move, but we we have to do something. Yeah, I, I like it though. I like it. Let's yeah, we have to do something. Issue. Let's do something. Jin flashes here. out. Um, probably a good move. Yeah. Now it puts them in in minion advantage. Nice yes. with the oh yes. that was great. Yep. Excellent said, job, he, Bygar. He definitely has the intellectual ability to play this game. There's no doubt in my mind. Said he just doesn't have the experience to go with it right now is, is, is the only difference. Yeah, no one in being able to do with the blood rush and a little yeah. bit of deer fever. Oh, type. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I that. said a lot of these kids, this is their Blah. own, uh, Blah. this is their first real, you know, high school esports experience, so. He's going to get the stun there. Jungler's coming, though. Yeah, he was, uh, hey, could you come help yeah. me? <laughs> I'm coming towards you. <laughs> yep. I'm bringing him with hey, me. Hey, he's down here. Man, I'm really liking those shields by the Braum, man. He's really playing that well, Chuck. Yeah, sometimes a good um, band is what it takes to learn you like something else. Yeah. I said he really hasn't play, uh, played very many tanky-type champions. He's mostly played mages, so yeah, I'm really surprised to see him being as successful with it. And maybe he has been playing it some more that I just haven't noticed, but uh, the Braum and the Jin are actually a really good combo, Chuck. All right, and we're going to take this up to tower. <clears throat> Man, a lot of tower hits. Yeah. The Pantheon's going to go ahead and ult up here, so nice job getting that ult out of him for the uh, Rift Herald. And I'm hearing a let's go over there, so that, that might be a good sign there, Chuck. One Let's see what's going on here. Up. Kane's going to go ahead and get the ultimate. Horn's going to bust out the ultimate. Man, we got ultimates flying everywhere, Chuck. Fair enough. And Darius is trying to get the dunk here. Does he? I don't know if he has his arm. I real quick. Okay, so we're back live. Sorry about that. Had to remind some kids to go home. We got the ultimate coming out by Swain, and they are going to get the Chicken Lord there, but just barely. I mean, wow, that was close. And Brom's going to be able to stay here and protect this tower. I mean, yeah. he's he's one of the characters that can do that. Yeah. Yeah. See, he got that wave push, and yeah. they uh, they can't take advantage of that. Bygar's doing go. real Bygar smart just playing go back. Ahead and so he doesn't know, but he could just hammer down on him right now since he's underneath tower. And there's literally nothing he can do about it. But like I said that's he has the game intelligence. He just doesn't have the XP yet. That's all it is. So yeah, yeah, he's getting there. He's getting there. Jen's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make y'all feel my wrath. Yeah, I really like him. The way he's using the Gen Ultimates is is great. So he always has a tower or something right there beside him to make sure that, that he's going to get all those hits from that ultimate. Darius. Oh, is, I thought we was oh, going to get yeah. that. Man, that was close. And Mundo's right there, so he's going to have to be kind of careful. Okay, that's fine. Just put it on top of one of those computers. Man, nice job by the Darius clearing out of there. Yeah, that was, they had to back out. Uh, sure that enough. was a collapse I would never survive, Chuck. <laughs> I'm just going to say, when I see them getting some of these positions, I, I, I realize, like, oh, I would be in big trouble. And that's why I, I tend to say something, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're in big trouble. <laughs> right, yeah. Because <laughs> they are, are well, uh, way and above uh, mm, my playing league, that's for sure. Yeah, just like that, I... I Wow. And he came really close I know. to handling both those, that situation. I know. He's been really close a couple of times there, Chuck. All right, we I got, like this jungle coming in. Yep. 
Ken he's goes go down, ahead. but our jungle's going to be able to reap. Yeah, I think so. And he's there's he no a reason good why he shouldn't of targeting the Darius yeah. first. I, I really like that. Very smart on his part. Is he going to be yes, got nice it. Yep. job? Now he, Swain's going to break out the ultimate, and that's going to be probably yeah, no tough to deal with there. No, Swain, Swain can eat it. Yeah, Swain has so much healing on that ultimate. It's yeah, but crazy. he can eat it. He's going down. Nice job. By that's the let's wave. go. Yeah, that, three minutes ago we heard let's go. <laughs> that's why it was excellent man, I, job. I'm surprised by that, Chuck. Honestly, usually when Swain's in his ultimate, man, you just you just cannot contend with him. But he he did. He just kept kiting him out. Oh, nice job. Taking out some vision here. Nice job by the jungler. And Clinton definitely looking like they, they learned a little bit more after the, the first match for sure. So definitely looking better this match than they did last match. I said once again, um, one of the teams that we streamed and watched last year in the playoffs, Chuck, remember how they're – ADC and uh, support stayed together the entire game, no matter what. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm seeing right here, and I, I, that makes me happy. I like that. Ooh, Ooh he's trying, Ooh. isn't he? He sure does oh, want to get a pull piece. Out the ultimate right here on him, though. He sure did want to oh, get it. Oh, and here comes yeah. comes in from the bottom. They're just mm. completely collapsing yeah. on him now. And Darius is going to be in trouble there. He just not about to hold up to that tower. There was Aggro nothing. There was champions. nothing. I mean, no. it was. <laughs> No, that was nasty there. I don't know if anybody that would have been able to surprise that, <laughs> no. su survive that collapse. No, it's a nice collapse by Hall there. But we uh, still like – we got our bottom lane down here still just laning away. Do, in our bottom lane, are they – I'm not sure if they're sharing a brain or what's going on. But Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> very nice. I hadn't yeah. really watched them in competition because they hadn't had a yet chance to play. This is their first – yeah. High school match, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is like I said, they're, this bodes very good. well for them. Yeah, their future looks bright if they keep playing like this. Yeah, they're, they're only ways up for them right now. It's, it looks like the sky is going to be the limit. Look at that. Yeah. Very <laughs> wow, nice. they're going to stay in there. And they're going to get dove here, but, oh, man, they are doing but it. But they moved together. Yeah, yeah, they stayed together. So, and actually, uh, Draven's going to go down for that dive. So, they weren't able to swap aggro off there. So, nice job. Yep. And it looks like they're going to get Darius there. Yeah, they're definitely doubling up on him. And they're going to go straight for the Rift Herald. So. I want to say that they're going to get their Rift Herald. Yeah. I'm yep. gonna All is going to Yeah, they're pushing that mid again. I said they know. They know. Uh, they're definitely locked in on that. But I think we've done a lot better job of countering that this time too, though. Oh yeah, especially the second with, game. The yeah, second game we played yeah, a lot better. Especially with the mobility with Kane, and I think that's one reason why he picked the Kane is so he would have the extra mobility to to come and help try to compensate for that. And now you're going to see Hall come up too. Though they're going to say, you know what? If you're going to come in and help support that, then we're just gonna we're going to come up too. So. Right now, if I was Hall, that's how I'd move. Oh, yeah. I'd be yeah, a rolling ball of butcher knives. Yeah, well, that's the name of the game for League. If you, if you find a weakness or you know there's a weakness, you, you fully exploit it. That's that's what you do in League of Legends. I mean, that's just that's just the game. It's it's chess. Yeah, both times they take that Rift Herald right down the middle. Yep. But As that they was, should. Yeah, I and mean, their middle was where they were strongest because we had that substitute, unfortunately. Yeah, like I said, it's just it's it's just game and experience is all it is. Uh, like I said, this game has a huge learning curve. I'm gonna oh, there goes the ultimate come gonna, out again. Yeah, I'm gonna they're, stand by tower they're and I'm gonna hold it and say, you know what? We're not we're we're not going down without a fight. Our team's scrappy, that's for sure. Yeah, and yeah, I we like taught them well that. never to give up, yeah. never surrender. Yeah, I, I I really like seeing that. 
Nice job by Hall. GG's to them. Uh, wish y'all best of luck in the rest of your season. Uh, enjoyed playing you. Thank you for playing esports with us. We really appreciate it. All right, we're going to talk to our team for a minute. Thanks for watching.